So I'm from Wedderburn. I'm lucky enough to be a teacher here at Wakehurst. Today we're going to be looking for fungi. Fungi, of course, are really beautiful, but some fungi are poisonous, so it's, it's best to leave touching and picking to experts. So these beautiful mushrooms are fly agaric. They're the classic mushroom shape with gills and a stem. These fungi have a great network of threads called a mycelium under the ground, joining between different trees. Not all uh, fungi that look like mushrooms have gills. You might be able to spot the spongy pores on this one, which is a member of the Boletus group. Fungi come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and these tiny little fungi are decomposers. So they'll be living on dead grass or dead twigs and using that as their food and rotting it down and returning it to the soil. These weird looking structures are fungi called cauliflower or brain fungi. Again, they are helping the tree to grow by providing water and minerals and the tree in return is giving the fungus sugars so that the fungus can grow. You have to look really carefully for these. They usually grow in the grass. These are golden spindles. Ones like this come in all sorts of colours. You get white ones, orange. The black ones are often called dead men's fingers. These amazing little things are puff balls. They don't have uh, gills and they don't have pores. Instead, they either dry out and split or they develop single pore at the top. The spores puff out from there and that's how they get their name. Fungi are very important. They're important for the growth of plants. Many plants don't grow well without their fungal partners. They're also important in decomposing leaves and wood so that it's recycled into the soil. Wakehurst is a really good place to find fungi, so next time you're at Wakehurst, have a really good look around and see what you can find. <laughs>